Hi, this is Jeeva, working as a software engineer in Nine Systems Pride Limited. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to trigger a Bessel camera using GPIO interface. Normally, the camera comes with two different interfaces, a USB 3.0 and a GPIO. USB 3.0 is used for powering up the camera and transfer the live image to our PC. The GPIO interface is used for triggering the camera. So this is my basic setup. I have placed my object here and this is the camera. Here you can see that the GPIO interface is connected with the switch and the USB 3.0 is connected with my PC. Using the switch, I can trigger the camera and capture the image. For pass and fail indication, I am using a LED. Now, I will explain the circuit. The GPIO interface has 6 pins. In this, only we are using 3 pins for triggering the camera. Pin 1 is used as a input trigger for the camera. Pin 3 is used as a output for pass fail indication. Pin 6 is used for ground. Pin 1 and 6 will be connected to the press switch. Pin 3 is used for writing the pass fail indication output from the program. The main application is developed using the lab view. Here, the front panel, you will see the captured image, image code, result, and stop button. Now, I will trigger the camera using the switch. The image has been captured, and the image count also increased. Now, I am again triggering the camera. Here, you can see the image and the increased image count. I will add one more product again and then trigger the camera. Now, I will write the result programmatically through the camera and the result indication will be turned on. Here you can see the LED turned on. Now I am turning off the result. You can see the LED has been turned off. I am again turning on the LED now and turning off. And again, I am triggering the camera. Thank you for watching this demonstration video.